What's good guys, it's your boy DB, and I'm here covering the new Marvel game, Marvel Future Revolution. It's a game that I've wanted to, to get into. Uh, the whole soft launch thing was just a little bit of a, a headache for me to figure out, so I didn't start then. Um, I checked out my buddy Mobile Gamer yesterday playing the game, uh, and now the global launch happened yesterday. Your boy's got his foot in the door and I'm finally going to be playing it. That said, I've had a fair few people reaching out to me because they've been trying to get me to play it for a little bit. And um, they can't figure out how to actually get the game installed so they can play it on Bluestacks or, or whatever emulator you prefer to use. Um, it's a pretty graphic intense game, therefore if you've got a nice tasty PC, um, it's going to probably be easier to play it there than on a dated mobile device. I mean, my, my mobile, I've got the A70, it's decent enough, but I have to play it on quite low settings, otherwise it's choppy as heck and I can't really do anything on it. So, um, you know, having being a full-time content creator, I will be playing the game primarily on the PC because obviously I'll be making content and streaming it over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash dbofficial125, so be sure to go and check me out over there. Um, now I will show you how you go around actually playing this on, on, on Bluestacks. Bluestacks is my preferred Android emulator, so if we switch over to my emulator, here we are, it's my box standard, and this is the problem a lot of people are having. Let me move my webcam for just a second, I'm just going to stick it down down here for now. Uh, if we click on the Play Store, for example, we go in here, we type Marvel Future, there it is, Revolution, and click on it. It doesn't show, and so many people do this, they click it, they're like, why can't I play this game? I thought it was released, um, and that's the headache they're having. Well, this is because the game does not run on the 32-bit version of your Android emulators. So what you have to do is this. If we, if we close out, um, that is my... Discord server, I apologize, <laughs> I forgot I had that loaded up. Um, you can see I've got one booted up up here, but this is this is how it's done. Um, we wanna click on a new instance, so we click that first. Uh, we just go for a fresh one, um, because odds are the ones you've got, your, 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 uh, your current ones are probably 32 bit and that's not gonna function. This will bring up this uh, Android version selection here, we're gonna wanna pick the 64 bit. Uh, next, uh, it's a very intense game and generally if you're playing on an emulator like this on, on, on a modern game and mobiles are pretty powerful, you're going to want the highest possible settings so go just, just stick everything on high for now, whatever resolution you like, uh, that's generally the standard one on a lot of mobiles, I tend to go 1080p anyway, uh, that can stay the same. Put the DPI as high as you can, so you know image clarity and stuff like that. And let's click create. Right uh, here it is. We, we notice that the standard ones that the game will, uh, the app will generally boot for you are 32. We've got a 64 here, so now we're going to boot this up. Let's get our full screen. That was my little boy in the background for those of you who saw him, my little Dominic. Uh, it shouldn't take very long to boot up. I got, I got fairly decent PC. Outside of my GPU, because this is, let's face it, you can't buy the things anywhere these days. I would like an upgrade, but gotta wait. Right, here we go. We got it all booted up, 64-bit. Now, if we go to the Play Store, of course, it's gonna back me out. Right, it's gonna make me sign in, so I'll do this. Okay, so password in, hit accept, blah, blah, blah. And here we go, we're finally in, and it's actually already popped up right there, so I won't even need to type it in, but obviously, for whatever reason, it doesn't show for you, although it should. Uh, just type in at the top, click Marvel Future Revolution, and install, it's that simple. Now you can actually play this on your emulator as well, just like me and all the other content creators. So be sure to like and subscribe. The intention is to cover Marvel Future Revolution here on this channel now. And I will see you in future videos where I'll help you out with some guides, we'll do some live streams and all sorts of stuff. So until next time, we out of here.